Episode 15, Repairing of the Rover at Spiwa. Mr. Blizzard, tell yes. me what's going on. This attaches to there. And then your brake drum attaches onto there. And then your wheel goes on there. And we have bent this axle. So what's happening is, rather than it sitting straight out from the car, it's sitting slightly back like that. Okay. So the wheel is pointing outwards rather than straight. So we're getting a part? We've got to go and see if we can find a part. Rather than it being dead straight, the axle is slightly bent, which is throwing out the tyre. Handy with someone with lots of tools. I do have sockets, two socket sets, bottle jacks, but trolley jacks, axle stands, air tools, power tools do make things a little bit easier. Thank you, Christian. Mm. Just editing the video for Spiwa and realised we didn't have any footage of me actually fixing the spindle. So what actually happened was we took the spindle off. We took it into an engineering workshop in Cairns and they said it would take about a week before they look at it and then you know get it scheduled in so it was about two weeks I went back and picked it up and what they'd actually done is they'd put it on the lathe and they'd measured it and it was about a hundred thou out they then put it into a press and they then re-straightened it basically so we're only two thou out now anyway so then I put it back on the trailer during that two weeks we contacted stockman rover to look at ordering a replacement it wasn't something they held in stock so what we did was we spoke to phil the owner of the business he then got on to the factory in china where those bits were made we got a replacement one on the next shipment out which was leaving about two or three days after i spoke to him so that was good got it on the next cargo shipment out in a container it took a couple of weeks to arrive but in the meantime what we did was because we were on a bit of a time constraint we put the straightened one back onto the rover bolted it all back up hooked it all back up put the bearings in repacked everything and put the wheel on and we've been driving on it ever since so i did get a replacement one sent out to us when we were at darwin they got the replacement one into stock they then contacted me they shipped one out i gave them a post office storage locker id and they then sent it there and i picked it up when it arrived at the moment i'm still running on the straightened one it's running a lot better there's no alignment issues and there's no unusual tire wear so i'm holding on to the new one as a spare at this stage so that's the story of the the bent spindle but basically it was a hundred thou bent back slightly so that was pushing the wheel outwards and so we were crabbing down the road rather than towing out or towing in. And then it's the chassis. So that's just under 330. Mm. And that's just under 330. Oh. So it's probably a couple of mil. But we were 25 mil before. Mm. What I saw as um a way of measuring it and that that's obviously that's right. the way I measured it before anything wrong with the trail and show up yeah exactly it's really so, so how would you... okay Let's get to it. Your spits will spin that side? No, it's fine. Yeah, both spinning. Yeah. My side is too short, but. Modify this a bit. Okay. So you're measuring middle of the tire to the middle of the tire and then yeah, front and back. Front and back. Yeah. You learn something every day. So, so what was the result of that measuring? Oh, it's not long enough. You're just going to adapt it. Okay. Going to move the, the markers along a bit. Okay, so where about on the quarter there? Yeah. Yeah. 
Not gonna scratch mark somewhere. Right? So you got the. On the lock somewhere. There's there's little indents. The scratch at the. Scratch the line there. Yeah. So if I go like that. Just the tire can't move. Right? Put on the exact line, then I mark my side. Okay. You on? Yep. Okay, I'm spinning 180 and do the back guy. See if it lines up. Right. Are you on the line? I lost it. Alright, I'm, I'm on the line here. Yeah, hang on. Lost it. Deep, I was sure. Yep. That there? Oh, I'm exactly on it, are you? I'm on it. It's about two mil. I was going to say, about two mil off the chassis. I've done the wheel nuts. But what's happening here is this thread doesn't seem to be tapped as deep on this alley wheel as it was on the other one. So the, the, the um, cap head bolts are too long and the, and the hub cover is rattling around. As Christian likes cream, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to create the Annika dish. I did let my sous chef off today. I gave him the day off because he's been working very hard because our rover wheel is not working and we have to wait for parts. So he's been busy, busy, busy. There are still more very interesting ingredients to go in here. Now, I know Annika won't be very pleased because I don't think it's anything like her dish. I've kind of done it from memory and I've probably added a few things in, changed a few things, so apologies Annika, still love your dish though. Now for Christian's favourite part, we are now got the cream and we're putting garlic into it. Who's putting garlic in the cream? Husband's putting garlic <laughs> in the cream. Yes. Thai basil. Some lovely chilli sauce given to us by Kyle, well I should mention, mention Natalie as well. You can put as much chilli in or as little chilli in as you like. I'm going to put quite a bit in because I know that we all like a bit of chilli. That'll do. Into a oven proof dish. The oven it goes. One more ingredient to add, and then we're done. Liam Pumper. Pum. At the same time, I'm doing my absorption method on the rice. And now for the last ingredient peanuts. And that's your meal ready to serve. There we go, got it. It's all happening. He's chomping a big tree up there, look at that. He's just knocked it over. We've got plenty of firewood for later. Yay. Get all the rubbish out of the way. And these are the black boys going in. Yeah, yeah. black boys are going in there. Can't call them black boys. Grass trees. Grass trees. There it goes. Not much roots on that tree, is it? No, oh, that was a dead it was one. Dead. Oh, 
I think we should be having a fire babe. Yeah, I think we will do now. There's a stack I'm, of firewood. I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't bother picking up any firewood. Mm. Don't need to. They just delivered me a big pile of firewood over there. I'll chainsaw it later. All in a day's work, babe. I'm exhausted. Squeak, knocked out your voice. I'm exhausted. Hard work. Supervising. Don't look at me like that. First fire at Spiwa. Husband, gatherer, collector, building fire. Whoops. Just cut your head off. <laughs> oh, you're so strong, babe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm so strong. Load it up in the middle. Little Jenga fire. Debbie will be proud. Girls are in or coming out of the garage. Okay, babe, girls. Fun stuff. Okay. And you, Tina. It's an A flop. Right, have you got your cat? Yeah. This is mine. She's the one who needs the encouragement. Little stretchy puss. All right, come on, Tina. Come on. Towards the neck, towards the left, towards Tina, come on, towards Tina. Trying to light a fire, not a fight a stire. Trying to fight a stire. Fire, fire, Trying to fight a stire, trying to light a fire. fire. Don't know where the S came from. And there you go. Yeah, it might be a little damp that kindling. I just picked it up off the floor. Oh, it's kindling that's damp, not yeah. the wood. Okay. Now the wood's dry. But the kindling's a little, a little wet. Well, not wet, but moist. There we go. Fire starter, twisted fire starter. Woo 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 woo! Hey! Right, 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 right! Stop, stop! Whoa! Twist! Fire starter, twisted fire starter. Woo woo! <laughs> That's got it going. Give it some. I was wondering where my head fire was. Need a slightly less powerful one. <laughs> so who have we staying with us, Carl? We have Tim and Lucy. Mm -hmm. We have Alex 
They've both got 80 series. And they're the sons of one of our oldest friends in Sydney, Alistair and Raylene. And there is another son, but he's not here. He's not arriving into Cairns until Monday. So, excellent. We've still got the barbecue on the back, so no one's stolen it yet. It's just, and I, I said, just highlighted it, it, that it was <laughs> out of alignment. Right. So we had, we had one tire parallel and one tire crabbing like that, so yeah. going down the road like that. And nothing exploded in there? No, 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 just... no, it's all fine. The brakes all worked and everything else, but it was just out of alignment. Oh. So, because the stub axle was bent slightly back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it was a hundred thou out, which isn't much. No. Nah. But by the time it's on the end of a 33 yeah, tire, you can, you'd be able to notice it. Yeah. It was sticking out. Um, and it was wearing, wearing the inside of the tire. Say, yeah, yeah, lucky you caught right. it early on. I, I noticed it here when I checked all the wheel bearings. And I yep. took the wheel off and noticed it was wearing. So then I thought, <laughs> I thought something's not right, but we're just about to go to the Cape. Yeah. So we just went anyway. Oh, so you but, just put up with it? Oh, yeah. yeah okay. Just put up with it. But by the time we got back, it was well knackered. Right, okay. The tire, I mean. Um, so I took the, the axle <laughs> Not me. Off. <laughs> I, was, I was knackered too, but the, um, we took the axle off, took it into a workshop in town, mm -hmm. and they bent it and straightened it, really? but I've ordered a new one. I was going to say. I've ordered a new mm. one. That will become my spare. Yeah. Okay. So, um, so how would you like us to entertain you tonight? Is that like a Robbie Williams song? Uh, yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, well yes. you're going to do, do a pole dance, babe? No. Oh, <laughs> please. Come on. <laughs> 60 years old, hello! <laughs> All right, a, wo a wobble dance. Yeah, more like wobble dance. But when you're living on the road permanently, it's a queen bed on wheels, really. <laughs> With a TV. That's awesome. Aww. And it's light, it's just over a ton. My favourite oh, part... Yeah. It weighs 950 inches. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've got your cupboards, you've got your bed, we've got obviously all the bedding we've got inside and yeah, we've been, yeah. been washing it up. And then, we've got your kitchen. My favourite part is the kitchen. I love my kitchen. Oh, so we've got, the, we've got the Weber. Oh, so that's supposed to be out there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 it's in the dry. <laughs> I've got a cover on mine. You know, I almost lost this. Really? I got to go up somewhere, got to camp somewhere. And I'd, Looked up and it wasn't on there. It was sitting in, in the back, like inside the like the tray that it sits uh, on. It was sitting inside there. That was on Fraser actually. Yeah. After all the bounces, it was still sitting on there. Yeah. So that just lives there. We put the stove on the little side table on the side. Oh yeah. And then of course you've got your got your hundred and ten liter fridge freezer. Big. Yeah, so eighty five. And we got a fifty liter, fifty five liter fridge freezer in the back of the car too. Well, we. So we can stock both up with booze. Mm. I mean, no food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and yeah, you just it's just basically cupboards. We've got all our food cupboards in here. Yeah. Most of it's in the house because we've got all our stuff in the house. Yeah. Um, Haven't any dramas with them coming open or anything? Or no, no. Well, we did forget to lock them in. Ah, oh, they lock in. Right. But fortunately, okay. because the Weber sort of sits here, all yeah. they did was just kind of come forward a little bit and just rub on the edge, just yeah. on the yeah. corner. You can be on YouTube. Oh, very cool. <laughs> is that right? Yeah. Does that yeah. include me as well? You're always Am I in the young, the young group or the old group? I oh, know. Yeah, that's bad. Let, let's that. get a little, little photo. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, how cute is that? That's not a photo, it's a video. Yeah, but I can take a photo from <laughs> it. Do you want to go and stand with the boys? Do you want to go and stand with the boys? The last time we were all sitting together. <laughs> Yeah, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not, on, on a trip, on a trip. Oh, we're just yeah. missing Ben. <laughs> not at your place, not of course. He'll be here on Monday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hot now. She didn't realise she was coming for a workout. No. <laughs> Wrong one, is it? No, 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 no right one. one. Uh, bring it through your legs, bring it through your legs. Bring yeah. this, no, no, bring this back. Oh, like that, like, like that, yes. And then I step over it. Yes, and then you step over it. No, right or left? Right. Just yeah, step over it. That's it. Ta-da! <laughs> Can we have an applause, please, everyone? Yay! Well done, Lucy. That is a monster. That's a cane toad. That's really a cane toad. Come on, Tina. Come on, baby girl.
Cameron. Cameron. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you're enjoying our videos, please click like, subscribe and click the bell for notifications.